Next up on Howler for an Hour, and last for tonight's Howler for an Hour, is Aquarell. Aquarell seems a bit, uh, a little bit artsy, a bit of a walking simulator from what I can tell. Looked a tad low budget, but also pretty interesting with how it was using its assets, so I wanted to check it out. But before we begin, if you like this video, do consider giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do consider giving me a subscribe, because that helps a lot. Uh, if you want to see my content early, it's usually streamed to Twitch one day before it's up on YouTube. And also, we have a really cool uh, Discord server full of great people. And uh, also, not only that, but we have an event running right now. A contest is running for the next uh, month and a little bit over, like a month and a week or something like that. Uh, it's a pinball tournament. There's monetary prizes, and you just have to check the contest and, contests and events channel in my Discord server to get all the details. So go check that out if you're curious. In any case, this is Aquarelle, and let us begin. Hopefully the volume is good. Let me know if it needs to be raised or lowered or whatever. I like the loading screen. I like that. I like the watercolor. It's kind of cool. All that we see or seem but a dream within a dream. Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. Well, it's time for practice. Used for movement. Wasted. What do I use to kill the motion blur? All right, hold on a second. <laughs> I immediately need to adjust something. Okay, well, first off, there's no motion blur options here. But let's assume if I turn down effects, that, that will kill the motion blur. That did not kill the motion blur. How about low? How about low on everything, just to check? <laughs> nope. Right. You might call me petty, but I really don't like motion blur. <laughs> Everything else seems fine. Um, hold on a minute. The game actually asked me to open its uh, save folders and stuff, so I'm gonna just do a quick little check on here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Here it is. Game user settings. Yeah. Here we are. Post processing quality effects texture chain. How about yes, that's what I thought. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight options there. Five options there. Okay, sit tight, guys. I think I can hack the game to remove ocean blur, and then we'll continue. I don't really need to load the menu, do I? Okay, there you go. I say hack the game because it's not a natural option, but I know what I'm doing, so one moment. I'm going to turn off the effects quality to zero, but also the uh, post-processing quality? Yeah, that might do it too. We'll see if one of those affects it. Um, there we are. I guess I can always, uh, just in case, motion blur equals zero. That might help too. Blur equals zero may also do it. So I'm going to add those two commands in just to check. Okay. Now, hopefully we don't have motion blur. Making a much more uh, smooth and uh, just positive experience for everyone's eyes, to be honest with you. Hmm. Absolutely, I love that loading screen. It actually looks really nice. Can't skip the logos, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, I believe motion blur equals zero works for Unreal Engine, so... Now that I have enabled that, let's go ahead and hop in and see what happens. Oh, I did forget to select the file. I did forget to make the file read only. Well, we'll see if that matters. Seems to have kept my settings, though. All right, good. I think, yeah, I think I did. I think I did kill the motion blur. Now it's just a little leggy, so let me, uh... I guess let me lower some settings, I suppose. I have a pretty powerful computer, so it's a bit disappointing that it's, well... I did kill the motion blur, though. Look at that. You could tell, even if it is kind of still janky a bit. Cute alpha is cute. 
cute outfit, face sweet. with smiling eyes. Also, I wouldn't mind resting my head on that cute, adorable belly. Aww. Beaming face with smiling eyes. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I lowered all the settings, but it still runs kind of poorly. Uh oh, well. Maybe it runs better on full screen? Nah, probably not. Well, we'll just live with it then. Oh, but hey, if I look this way. Ah, it's a rendering distance issue. Yep. Oh, well, well, whatever. That's a bad, that's a, that's too bad, honestly, that it's kind of running like, you know. I don't know how I climbed that, I'll be honest. Well, whatever, it's not exactly a fast-paced game, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Hello. Uh, is that normally how we read a page? My name is Elizabeth I331, and I am for the technical support department for the VR Series X products you're currently using. The device sends errors with the ID10T code and periodically loses communication with external sources. However, this is not important now. You need to immediately exit the virtual space and diagnose the device. Alright, fine. Good eye, Hyper. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. Hope it goes okay. What'd that say? Oh, I missed that because I was reading the messages. I think I saw Shift C. Yeah, I saw Shift C. C to crouch, Shift to slide, crouch. I guess. It seems rather actiony. I thought this was not very much of an action game, but maybe it is more of one than I thought. I don't know. I'm very disappointed in this frame rate, though. I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, you know what, actually? I'm gonna try something. How about now, game? You running it a bit better now? Yeah, a little bit better. I, I reduced the resolution. It didn't really help that much, I'll be honest. Ah, fuck it. I guess it doesn't really matter, then. Alright, let's stay, keep it like this. Um, I can't read this one. Oh, never mind, I did. Don't go left, go right. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, I can't leave this menu now. Uh, there we go. Right looks hard, though. Alright, fine, I'll go right. Wait, what's this one say? Let me guess, don't go right, go left. Don't go right, go left. Hey, look, I fucking predicted it. Um, that was bad. No, they seem fine. I'm, what? Oh, th the bars let you do a... Oh, they didn't work that... Th no, thanks for that. The bars let you, uh... How to put it... The bars let you quickly round corners, but they don't always work, so you might just careen off a ledge because you're not turning. Cool. <laughs> they seem to do it automatically, but I don't really understand. Huh. Also, I think there's a mantle system because I was really confused. I jumped and then I... Yeah, there's a mantle system. That's weird. I have to be sprinting for them to work, probably. I thought I was sprinting the last one. Soul once again cannot listen. Okay. Hmm. This game has some really interesting aesthetics. I hope we can get to those. I'm really annoyed at the frame rate, though. It's like I get this better computer. What happens? Like it's a way better computer. What happens? Game run game runs too poorly to actually use the to have a good frame rate anyways. Like, okay, well. Yeah, it was ran out of stamina right before it. Fair enough. Oh. No, no, that wasn't the problem. The problem was that after you do a quarter turn, it stops your sprint. I think. Yeah, you're not always you see that? Like I I'm holding down the key still, but I'm not sprinting anymore. That was the issue. Speaking of issues, uh... Okay, well... 
I guess I have to go down the other path, huh? So far, the game has taught me crouch, jump, sprint. That's it. Wait. No, that, didn't, that didn't really help me, actually. Um, so, what am I supposed to take out from this? Uh, regardless of which direction I take, I run into one of these, which I can't... You don't suppose I'm supposed to, like... No, no, you're not. Well, then what? Also, good night to you, Pop. I mean, we can mantle this. That's fairly easy, but why? I can't really mantle those other things. No, you can't jump for crouch. It makes you stand up first, and then you could jump. Good night to you. Face or click to scramble to the side. Hmm. I suppose clicking could do something. We haven't really. Still, though, considering this is a really shit tutorial, though, when you think about it, because, like, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Virtual assistant. Hard to learn, easy to fight. Easy to fight. Oh, that time it worked! I don't know, man. The mantle system's kind of weird. The mantle system is, is one of those contextual things, but also the game's program is not quite, like, tight enough to, like, make it easy to use, I feel. But we did it, though. We did it, so. All I admit, did was miss some... a few last jumps. Sorry, right, well, whatever. There is a rope to set ahead. Use space. Okay. We... That was so exciting. Uh, you want me to do some sort of... Shift WAD depending on location. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Hi, my friend. Some more. How are you? To get up, use WAS and shit. Okay, yeah. That was some really random phrases, but okay. He who holds on tight wins. Oh, okay, well. We'll get there. Also, Moon. I don't think I've seen you here before. Maybe I have? Anyways, welcome. How many viewers we got? It's an interesting wall running mechanic. Oh, what the hell is going on over there? I think I understand why this level's so laggy. There's like all that stuff over there. But we have the case of a developer forgetting, hey, maybe your level if your levels are too big and complex, maybe you should like tone it down. Open door of E. Holdy. Long, how huh? you can knock to the next door of a rain skirt. Starts. Boom. Oh. Okay, well I fell. Why did you fall? Now look for a way out yourself. Why'd you fall? Because I gravity took me. It's not my fault. Okay, this is actually kind of intuitive. I don't mind this. Uh. Yeah, it's intuitive enough. 31 viewers, okay. Oh, I died. There is, in fact, fault. Please don't respawn where I think you're going to respawn me. Please, 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 please. Please have a heart.
It's a bit Mirror's Edge-ish, but like less precise. You did it! Ever heard of Checkpoints Developer? When I saw it, I was like, okay, we're gonna reload it, and I remember I had never seen a checkpoint. Yeah. That was definitely far enough for a checkpoint. It's amazing to me. Is, isn't it, like, weird that we're going WoW, though? Isn't it weird that a scenario would even exist where a game developer would make multiple challenges and then not make checkpoints, and then we discover there's no checkpoints? What, it, isn't that weird, though, that, that we'd even run into that circumstance? That a developer would even do that? Like, it's... I mean, unless they were trying to troll. Unless it was intentional, like, you know? Then maybe I could understand it, but otherwise... It's so bizarre to see a developer go like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this and this is good design, we're done. It's like, no. How did you miss this? How- oh, oh, oh. Yeah, also the guardrail didn't work that time. <laughs> I stopped though. That was very close. <laughs> And suddenly I realized, like, I'm glad that I did everything correct. Also, this dialogue box right here literally forces you wait. You can't click through. You have to wait here until it decides to go away. Which is absolutely stupid, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Unless it's the point. Does this, this doesn't feel like a rage game, though. I did feel like I could sing, sing what a thrill snake eater here, but you know. Oh, I just realized that thing on the upper left is our health bar. <sighs> They're close to taking fall damage and stuff, I suppose. Okay. This doesn't feel like it has a rage game atmosphere, so why is to put rage elements in is uh, beyond me. Can I just open this normally? I can. Except for I still walk through. God damn it. Oh, there wasn't actually I was gonna say like I could just grab one of the things to hop around. Also, remember remember why I died? It was all because for some reason I didn't latch onto that one. Like that. Yeah, it's just like that. I'm not dead, but I'm going to die next time I fall. The imprecision would be fine without the uh, simple fact that I could die so easily. I can't even turn towards that, guys. Dead. Yep. Like, there's actually, you're wondering, you're probably wondering to yourself, like, Char, why don't you just turn, rotate a little bit more? I actually reached the edge, the, you can only rotate so far, because think about it, you're holding onto a beam and then you're like turning left or right, there's only so far you can rotate that those directions. And that seems to be uh, accurate with... I'm sure, Parkour is my thing, but I need precise movement for it. But yeah, I literally cannot look at the thing I need to jump to. I did catch it that one time, the previous run, that particular one, I caught that one before. Well, not looking at it, but I don't, I don't understand, man. Perhaps I just need to, like... Oh, no, that would probably get me killed, but... I don't know, maybe it won't. I was thinking, like, what if I just... press back and jump while facing towards the wall? Like, maybe I'll wall kick off and go the opposite direction where I need to go? I don't know. Fucking I... I don't really know. All I know is that this is very poor game design. I tried both strafing and not strafing, actually. Both seemed to... Actually, stra when I strafed, it actually seemed worse. Like, I didn't get close, as close when I strafed. Which 
Wait, is it just me or is this one? Oh my god. Guys, is this one higher up than the other one? I didn't mean to fall off, but whatever. <laughs> is it actually, like, legitimately impossible just by... Like, it doesn't seem that higher at first, but actually it might be a slightly higher than the other parkourable ledge. I do find it music. I don't. I do find it music. I don't actually have to wait off the, the timer. It's like so. It's subtly higher. Yeah, it is. It's. It's. Like, it was more than two cubes high, technically, to the red part. So I guess it was very barely higher, and enough that you couldn't tell. Enough that you really can't tell. But yep, it's higher. <laughs> well, this is pretty poorly designed, guys. A lot of, a lot of bad games today. Bit of a shame. Today was a day of a lack of luck, I suppose, in a lot of ways. That doesn't seem, th that seems like the same height now, though. I don't know. I don't know, man. We start off with two good games. I mean, I don't even know if this is a tutorial or if it's just like one big map and then you win. I'm not really sure. All I know is I'm glad I turned off the motion blur if I'm having to do parkour. You have to wait for this message and I hate it. Especially after we've already seen it a million times. Ooh, that was a little close. Alright. Some more! That's like the worst part, is it? Think about it too. Think about it too uh, on the subject, not only of the lack of checkpoints, but think about retracking your steps. You gotta do some tutorial stuff where you have to crouch and walk slowly through a low area, and then it pulls up a, a tutorial that it thinks is really important, which it is. The wall running is important to know how to do right. But it pulls it up and forces you to look at it for like five seconds without letting you pull it down. And then it makes you climb a ladder that's completely pointless and unnecessarily long. Uh, and then, it kills you, pretty easily. Oh yeah, the first game is worth buying, I agree. I'm sorry, what the hell? What the hell happened there? I'm sorry, what? What? Oh, I'm doing a roll instead of taking damage, I guess? Uh, whatever. I mean, I guess I'm glad for that. Mm -hmm. I just realized something, and it's really fucking stupid. I think if you don't hold shift, you won't grab. There's no indicator that this is the case. But if you don't hold shift, you won't grab. I think that is the key. So when I miss the jumps, it's because I'm not holding shift, man. If you hold shift, you're fine. I don't like this jump. I still did it. Shift your lock on button. I guess that's the key here. Uh. <gasps> no! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I was out! That's- I- I did everything- I- I faced as far away- as far- as close to the ledge as I could. Jumped and held shift and everything- I did everything the way they wanted me to. But okay. Yeah, they don't make it clear at all in any of these instructions that, hey, like for instance, to jump you space, that, that actually doesn't require this shift. Shift is absolutely required on those beams. I noticed that. That's why I kept falling at the first one, then I suddenly stopped falling. 
Problem is, it, does, it isn't required. Wait a minute. But then, when it comes to that really high ledge from later, like uh, the one we got, we first got a bit stuck. That does require a sprint or You don't get up it. Mm. So I don't know, man. Shift is really, really important, except for when it's not. Yeah, if I just walked up to this and jump, I couldn't get up this. But if I sprint, I can. So sprint has some important quality that I don't quite understand. Also, your sprint meter can just decide to stop. Which worries me, because I'm wondering now if the context sensitivity of the shift key just leaves sometimes, and then I break, and then I die. <laughs> you know? Then I die! <laughs> and the way this game is themed, I don't think it's supposed to be frustrating. I don't think they intended... I don't think that it was their intention to make this a kind of shitty, but it it is unfortunately because they didn't think they didn't fucking W and S for fast ascent. I just remembered. I just noticed W and S. W and S. No, it's not fast. What are you talking about? It may sound like if you did a key combination, you move faster, but that doesn't seem to be the case at all. Chances of parkour but it doesn't require for anything more advanced than mantling. You'd think, but it, it, at the same time, it seems like. Why did that happen? Was my angle too sharp? Oh my god. There are not checkpoints. This is what we've been talking about for a while, so there are not checkpoints. You know what's kind of hilarious though? Hold on a minute. I wanna I wanna check something. I wanna check something. I'm gonna be a cheeky beaky if I can do this. Let's see. Um See, all I need to do is run this, and then you're probably wondering what the fuck are, are you doing? You will see. You will see. And then if I do that and that, oh, it killed the game. It literally crashed the game when I did it. Okay, well, that was the console injector for Unreal Tournament, or for Unreal Engine games, I mean. I was going to see if I could free cab and go like, well, let's go check out the whole level. Since I can't fucking get there myself. <laughs> but it seems like uh, this game will actually crash with the ejector. Also, audio privilege. Oh, cool. And also, we're still... We didn't actually make any... Going back to the menu, the only option was new game. There is no continue. The game did absolutely no... Wait a minute. Is this because of what they said earlier? Hold on a minute. I gotta check something. Let me let me really carefully... Mandatory patrols starting the game. When you start the game for the first time, when you download the project, the settings will reset to the original state and will like... Most likely, some functions will not work correctly. To avoid this problem, we strongly recommend to download the settings file and place it in the path that's indicated below. I, I'm still trying to figure that out because they said they said recommend saving a settings file, right? Settings, but it's actually a save game, which is different from a settings file. The settings area is different from the save games areas, so I'm trying to figure out what they're on about, I guess. Category and title didn't get changed. Oh, yeah, because the moderator didn't do it. Also, a second. I gotta, see, I gotta do a thing. There we go. Hello, Andrew and Chip. Hey, hey, there, hey there again, dude. I, I'm Just give me a minute. I, I'm just doing a little research. There are no discussions. There is a guide. 
The challenging tutorial level is designed to weed out most of the players and open the island only to, for those who really want it. So, method one to clear it. To get better immersion in the Aquarelle project, you must complete the training yourself. The challenging tutorial is designed to weed out the most of the players and open the island only for those who really want it. Method number two. The second method is suitable for those who really want to get to the island, but due to lack of, their lack of skills in moving in three-dimensional space, they have to replay the training level over and over again. Bitch, it ain't my lack of skills, it's your lack of checkpoints. <laughs> Also, it said to make download the save file and put it in two set. What? I do not know if this guy was actually written by a developer or not. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Actually, no, I don't think it's a developer that wrote it. I like how they make all these assumptions like, well, this is what the developers intended. Like, yeah, how do you know that? But, uh, wait a minute, why CP5? I'm just going to check something. But this sounds a bit stupid, doesn't it? What kind of tutorial is this? The sort that weeds out those unworthy, I suppose. If this is what it means to be unworthy, I'd rather be unworthy. <laughs> Um, wait, what? Just a minute. No. What's really ridiculous here is the guy who says, like, here's a save file, and then links it and says, the save file, 2.save. And then I downloaded this file. It's one dot save. Also, the game doesn't make either numerical saves. It made an n nm user dot save. That's what it did. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. Hold on. If I take this. Okay. Next to the main menu. Resume. Got to the island. Got out of VR. Got out of the tutorial by loading. So wait. Actually, you know what? Given that this location of the statue head, which we saw in the tutorial, and this lighthouse, which I also briefly saw in the tutorial, I don't think there was that much more tutorial before we got to the island, actually. Also, it's suddenly running like fine. So, here's the part of the game that's actually good? Also, it's not running like bad anymore? Like, what is this? Hold on a minute. I'm like literally flabbergasted. Not only was the beginning shitty, but it also... It also appears it runs really well. Well, relatively, anyways. There's no shadows for some reason, but... Eh. So, literally, the tutorial ruins the game. But if you have a save file to skip it, then... I don't know. Let's see how the rest of it is, actually. Stir as hell running better. 
Even if this area is way more detailed and yet it's running better. What the hell did they do in the first part? I still can't understand you, Russian lady. <laughs> If you do not disconnect, you can completely lose touch with the outside world. We're looking for a way for you to answer us. We're also trying to figure out why you do not leave the virtual space and what keeps you in it. We're stuck in VR. <clears throat> and VR wants us to die. It won't stop bugging me to do this every time I reload the stream. Hopefully it will stop now. I hope so too, I guess? Also, I can't jump now. I wonder why you have to keep reloading the stream. Well, thank you for the sub. I'm not sure why you keep having to reload, though. I wonder why a mod hasn't changed a character or a title yet. Because we don't have any currently here, probably. Does somebody want a mob position? Because if I keep giving those out to people that are decent people, then we will avoid this issue in the future. Also, nice, nice, uh, moho nice crop top there. Yeah, you notice how since we got off the, uh, since we got out the tutorial by totally doing legitimately and not at all using a save file. Uh, now the game's different. It's not a parkour course. It actually is like demon horses over there, but you know. Chris, I don't trust you enough. Sorry, but um, I trust hated. Actually. Holy shit, I think the guy was actually correct when he said, like, the beginning of the game is a, a gateway to, like, the actual experience. Like, yeah, because from what I saw, the actual experience was, well, walking around a weird landscape. Which we're doing now. But I guess before you could do that, you get fucking gated by a parkour course for no reason. That's really dumb. That's really, really dumb. Observe your very activity. We managed to find out some points regarding your save virtual space. For now, we can only save one thing. You cannot get out of it using the stairway via using the shutdown function. We need to remember how you got here. Perhaps it'll be the same way it'll be possibly the virtual space. We try to connect your vision to the straight exactly where you are, but attempts are unsuccessful. Okay. The recorder is useless to me because I don't speak this language. Also, the birds are louder than you, anyways. Well, we can go evil horse direction, or abandoned road direction. It's a shame that all the people that are going like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it, are the people I actually would be willing to give it to. Hello. The irony there. Oh, there's a road here too. Chris, it's... Yeah, it's just, you know... I don't think you're quite mature enough, I guess is the best way to put it. Compared to some people. Save completed. It's okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the people... Why is it always the people that I trust that turn me down? I roll. <laughs> Wait, what's that? <gasps> I'm sorry, is that like a dog or something? Hold on a minute, I, I have to go the other direction. This direction's fine and all, but... I mean, it goes to Vorhorse, but... Wait, hold on. Okay, I'll keep... You know what? Maybe I'll loop around, actually. There's Hyper! Okay, go tell Hyper to do it. The best kind of person to have power is the person who is who actually questions if they should take it. Yeah, generally. I like that level of caution. Being mod is basically knowing three commands and listening to me when I say to do something. Or sometimes take the product of yourself if you feel confident. 
being a mod just being a being a Twitch mod specifically, I mean, is a very is a very encapsulated experience. I need you to change titles, I need you to change game titles, and I need you to remove people or time out their messages if they're being bad. These three things are very simple, tied to simple commands. You have a little there's a little menu for it. And if you're not confident enough to do those things yourself, you can just wait for me to say, hey, could a mod do this? And then just respond off my action. If you want, if you want, you could be a mod and never make your own choices. And just listen to what I ask of you guys. I just need somebody with a capacity to do what I need to have done, basically. Also, horse tongue. So, with that context, Hated and Blink, what do you think? I'll ignore Poi, because I know Poi is stubborn about not wanting to have responsibilities and stuff. What is that? Is that a cat? That's a cat. See, this is more my style. This is what the game advertised. This is what the game was about. This is what I was interested to play. I don't mind parkour, but that wasn't the point of this game. That parkour section really does just feel like it's there to gate people off from the experience and make sure it's exclusive only to those who care enough. And I fucking hate that. It really does seem like that's the point. This game is aqua... aqua... let me find out. Let me remember how it's... A-Q-U-A-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And what's weird is I have trouble reading cursive, but that was that's actually not too hard, that one. I think I made a mistake. I didn't go towards the cat. Oh, well. The bang part? Honestly, I could just tell you what to do it. If that makes it easier, anyways. Oh, what the hell? Um. Oh, oh good, we died. Where are we gonna respawn this time? Oh, wait, I know where, because I hit a checkpoint a long time ago. Cool, I'm glad that that's still an issue, even after the parkour stuff. Yeah, we're all the way back here. So... Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go the other way. Also, the fact there's a stamina meter rather than just letting me run is also kind of damning in my opinion. This just feels like it's wasting my time. This game just feels like it wants to waste my time. And walking simulators, you might consider them time wasters in general, but I actually think some walking simulators are perfectly fine in just having me walk around and look at things and take my time with things. I think that's fine. That's not wasting my time. Not if the time is being considered. Not if the events are planned out such that I get all these interesting visuals to focus on. That's not, that's not, that's no more a waste of time than having to walk through a, a park. I don't know how to set category. I don't know how to set category either. What I do know is that very briefly a window popped up and I have no idea why. Probably that, actually. Okay. I'm gonna go with the cat now. Hmm. Kind of a cool lyrical song. I'm gonna give this a 73% chance of being a song that gets me demonetized. <laughs> Sounds cool, though. jump now. Holy shit, I couldn't jump before, but now I can. I'm 
I mean, the game definitely seemed to be cool from what I saw of it. Before playing it, I mean. But now it's just like, well... It's like, it's still kind of cool, but it kind of like... It kind of lo made me lose my patience. Also, can I crouch? Thank you. I think I prefer this path. Oh, dead people. Oh, there was a car crash. And somebody very, very tightly got everybody in body bags without actually moving them from the scene. <laughs> Alright. Cat, did you cause the car crash? 96% chance? All right, Blink. Um, let me just, give me a second. All right, buddy, you can give it a shot. Also, uh, Hyper, are you still at a loss as to how to change character? It's all commands, man. There's a button for it on the dashboard as stream. No, not that one. How do I let mods change the title of my stream and whatnot? Exclamation game and exclamation title. Exclamation game, exclamation title. A lack, here's the thing about lack of modern experience. as I don't think it's a very good excuse by itself. Because, let me ask you this. If you have a lack of, if your lack of mod experience makes you not want to be a mod, then pray tell, how do you gain mod experience? How do you fix that issue, you know? I think I already did. You think so, Hyper? I hit it. I still think you'd be fine. The offer's still open to you. Just let you know. Anyway, so we're gonna visit this giant kitten now. Also, I think I keep getting stuck on the road. What the hell? I don't have a Discord to know what's going on. Oh, well, I mean, that's not really necessary. How many games after this? This is going to be the last one for tonight. I made it to the kitten, which seems to be in the middle of the lake and I can't visit it directly, but oh well. I think the cat did this. There's a lot of perfectly upturned cars here. Hi. Do you ever blink? Oh, you do. Okay. Fair enough. Hi. Hello. For some reason, you're more unsettling when I'm in front of you. The cat is a bit scary, I have to admit. A bit off-putting. Doesn't blink enough, you know? That cat is a murderer? Not last I've checked. By the way, I want to point out that during my first spawn, remember how I just kind of fell off and died? That's because the game actually didn't let me jump. I did not have a jump button when I spawned on the island. I only gained the jump after dying, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, Horsehead leads there to bridge. Okay, so we're gonna kind of meet up in the same place then, aren't we? Kind of? Fireworks. I will say, though, I don't think... 
I don't think the visuals and music and such are interesting enough to to legitimize to legitimize how long of a run this is. This is stupidly long. And again, not an, I don't have an infinite stat meter, which sucks, but gotta make do, I suppose. What the hell? Oh, this is like an angel statue. Hi, Link. Climb. Okay, I guess not. You're a physical. You're like a block shape. All right, got it. Bye. <laughs> Also, on the side of the broken bridge, yeah, they have the broken bridge is right there. Which, uh, perfectly happy to pass it, considering there was, like, another parkour challenge that just kills you. And then, again, I haven't gotten a checkpoint, guys. I want to point out, if I died right now, I'd be right back where I spawned last time. I uh, see, so you're supposed to do the broken bridge jumping, and then you get to that zip line over there, and then you go to that zip line there, and then you get back here. So honestly, this path was a little bit longer, but it didn't kill you. So technically it's shorter because die equals much longer, you know? So unfortunately, the game does seem to still keep its parkour elements of doom, but oh well. This isn't... This isn't how you design it. Okay, especially... Like, I, it started to really wear on me, this road. Um, this is not how you design a walking simulator. This is how you just make something that's way too expansive and waste the player's time. Well, there's a save point, finally. Sheesh. Wait, this song. I legitimately recognize this song. One period of time between communication sessions is made in also this little in virtual space. You're one of the creators of the world for this project. Therefore, you need to know where the emergency exit triggers to trap their current virtual space are. You can try calling an a system error for emergency termination. This method is unpredictable. That song is familiar. The song that's playing, I've heard it before. Okay, remember how I said earlier, like, I have a decent feeling I'm going to de demonetize for that earlier song? That that feeling went way up because I could tell they're taking music from other sources now. This song. What is it from? Was it from a movie? Like a Harry Potter? Or something? I definitely heard this song before. Okay, why the fuck are there... What, what's the point of this? I'm super suspicious of this song because, like... Let me just hop up and... Okay, well... I'm sorry? Whoa, 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 what? I caught the literal bottom of the ladder and thus didn't die. That was weird. <laughs> By the way, the climbing on top of ladder uh, animation. Okay, so... Wait, am I supposed to just... Hold on a minute. I think I get it. I'm supposed to read like this, aren't I? Yeah. Bugs, 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 bugs. Warning, attention, bitch. How disgusting these ugly messes are. Now and then pop up in the editor window. And the most depressing thing is that they are the fruit of the work of the programmers who do not think at all about the compatibility of the assets used by the designer in their work. I mean... Free the work of the programmers who do not think at all... Who do not think of all about the compatibility of the assets used by the designer in their work. Yeah, they don't think about the compatibility of numerous things, I noticed, such as uh, player, play, player valuing the player's time compatibility, or, you know. It's it's a real rich statement coming from that game. 
for this game, honestly. Wait. What? Okay, is that classical music or am I... What is this song? This is... Yeah, this is classical. I know this piece. Because I'm cultured. I'm a cultured puppa. I, I, slurp co I, I slurp tea out of a mug. I mean, it's a good song. I mean, it's a paradise, apparently. Also, how you doing, car? Car, after this game, if you have a moment, I'd like to talk to you, if possible, actually. Also, I, that page turn animation has to be a glitch. Get back in touch, that's good. So far, I've not found a way to evacuate you. So we don't have to day about your current location. If you can find a climb any hill, our job would be easier. Every one of these messages, hi, we still don't know how to get you out, bye. These messages are boring. It's a bit of a shame because they're like the one carrot on the stick, I suppose. Skousfi? Yeah, actually, I think you're right. Love, love hotel. Our red, daily red. Restroom. Odin. The two piercing. Monday through Friday. Leon Lewis. Financial bank. First aid pharmacy. Burger Jack. Beef, lamp, chicken, and others since 1987. I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea of mixing a burger logo with like a card image. That's kind of neat, actually. Chinese cuisine. Number one in town. We we're so number one we didn't have a, anything besides a generic name. Flower Rock Coffee. For Red. Contact 1-800-88-SIGN-RAVEN. Also, I'm just going to say this preemptively. Developers, screw you for putting in demonetization demonetizable music that's going to get me uh, this video demonetized. Come on. Get, make your own fucking music, man. <laughs> or, you know, license it from artists or something. Fairly certain this is not licensed, is what I'm trying to say. Save completed. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. That proves it right there. You're playing this song? Really? I'm sure you have the license to this. I don't care if this video gets demonetized. I really don't care. Yeah, are you serious? Really? Really? Like, and that proves it right there. Ah, uh, developers that just don't give a shit are like, Eh, whatever, this song works in our game. We'll just slap it in here. Fuck copyright. Fuck any any gamers that play our game that are gonna get demonetized. Fuck what the original copyright holders think. You know, I mean, they're only gonna affect the people making videos of our game. They're gonna go after us. It's fine. We don't care about the content creators. We only care about if we got in trouble. What do you want? Going, going, gone. I'm not even gonna turn on monetization for this because there's no point. Panopticon, Ghost 2042, True Survivor. Ah, so it sounds like shit. What the fuck? around me are familiar places I don't actually know the lyrics <laughs> besides that <laughs> actually this song is kind of a wild Russia idiot Apple and then of course Aquarelle at the end well given how I feel about this game currently I think I'm going to idiot Yeah, the salmon thing is wonderful, isn't it? Wait, isn't all around me are familiar places, familiar spaces? Something, something, I don't really know. If you can give me the lyrics and I'll have Tucker scream them. Because Lord Lano, this is how a dumb person thinks that a walking simulator should be designed. Why is everything so big but you have sand bar and zero speed? Because this is what a dumb person thinks a walking simulator is. Born to be work free. Born to be free. Born to be free? And then why'd you give me a fucking stamina meter? 
I don't care. I actually have lost interest in these <gasps> articles and shit. What are these pictures? Oh, look at the pictures. What is this? Why is this a book? What? Why do they turn weird? The idiot is empty. Really? I thought this book would be fucking full of how this game is going about. You guys, some of you guys joined late didn't even see the idiot project. Oh, I uh, the Aquarelle development story. Oh, let's see. Nah, uh, but here's it. You guys joined late didn't even see the worst of it. The worst of it, this game started with a huge parkour, uh, a huge parkour, uh, course that had no checkpoints, and you have a health bar, and you can fall off and die, and it required, like, context-sensitive, uh, mantling that didn't always work right, so I kept dying, and dying. The only reason we're on the island is because somebody listed a save file on, as a guide, somebody listed a save file on the, uh, under the guide section on Steam. Uh, that let me go right to the island. But even so, that wasn't even satisfying because the person who wrote the guide literally wrote this. Method number one for getting the completing the training course at the beginning of the game. For a better immersion in the Aquel project, you must complete the training yourself. The challenging tutorial level is designed to weed out most of the players and open the island only to, for those who really want it. So even so, they were like, but if you're not... If you're not fucking dedicated enough to this game, you can have the save file. That was basically how the article was written. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah! So, even before we got to the island, this game made me- What- Okay, what game did you steal this screenshot from? I'm really curious. This looks like an Assassin's Creed outfit, but also real boyish. Isn't that disgusting? And then, of course, they just slapped- I'm almost certain that this, this small indie developer did not literally license the rights to all around me are familiar places, or whatever this song is actually called. I'm almost certain that that was not licensed, so they just stole music, too. So, you know. Good times. Good, good, good look. Let's go to Idiot Land, because that's where, she, that's where we already are. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and scream it now. All around me are familiar faces. Familiar places. We're not places. We're not faces. I don't know how to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute. We're in that place now. So, Carceris, and anybody else who knows Destiny, please tell me if they stole Destiny models. I'm really curious. Is that a Destiny model? I don't know. Wait, I, is there anything I can do here, or...? Is this it? Here's the really great thing, I think this is Russian? Actually, wait, no, is it? Well, regardless, there's voice acting in this game, but it's not translated, even though this the text is English, so this is useless to me, it's just garbly good, because I don't understand it. I do like, however, that I walked to Idiot and I just and now it's just loads of trash. I mean, this is a really good visual representation of the game, I'd say. Look, just heaps upon heaps of trash everywhere. And a not happy smiley face, for some reason. I mean, you, could you get more accurate, really? I like walking simulators. I really do. I like the genre. But it, when it's not done right, I hate it. I, I love it when it's done right. We played this one game for Halo for an hour that was all like really simple, color based, and there's all sorts of these like really cool things that happen in that walk series. Like the music and the visuals work together and like pulse together and did their own did things together. It was so cool. When you get a good walk in simulator, it's a good experience. It really is. Also, thanks for not spying me at the idiot door, so I have to run all the way through this gigantic fucking room that is unnecessarily large to waste the player's time. Make sure they rack up more time and probably also rack up enough time they can't get a Steam refund. That probably also is important to them. I don't know. Um, so what? I have to check Wild Russia, because what the fuck does that mean? Again, this, I do think this is a Russian game, so what are they doing with their own country? Let's see. Is that like a radio station? Okay, whatever. Oh, is this like Silent Hill? Looks, 
looks Silent Hillish. That's a giant lever. That's the creepy cat for some reason. I was just here for the visuals, man. Well, this level looks really cool. Let's go check it out and probably just look at it. Like, the, the trash pile, is that is that every one of these where you just enter it and then... A project was the player's constantly run away from enemies from, from the noodles who have hung it on the ears of waiting for adventure and actions at the moment of purchase. The virtual rewards for the project were borrowed for the failed true survivor and successfully slaughtered a different name. What the fuck did that first sentence say? I'm sorry, what? The players constantly run away from enemies from the noodles who have hung it on the ears of waiting for adventure and actions at the moment of purchase. Oh, okay, thank you. Hey, good translation, guys. I think these rooms are optional, Lord. I'm only checking out a couple, and then I'm just... There's one at the very end, so I'm going to mainly check that out after this. Yeah, six rooms. I, I could just... I think I can ignore them, though. I don't think I need to go into them. Happy New Year! Not so happy when I'm... Happy New Year! Have a game to depress you and start off 2121 the worst way possible. Right, so it's a playground. And a bunker. In the sand pick as you place it. You know, that's the normal place for a bunker. Gotta bury it somehow. If you're gonna be a while, I'll just... Oh, 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 okay. I wasn't sure what your sleep schedule was like right now. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. There's nothing... Uh, there's nothing really... I mean, I'm kind of interested in the visuals, but at the same time... It's not really worth it. So this will be the last thing I check, Car, and then I'll talk to you real brief. It's just, it's just a quick thing. Hello. All right. Well, things aren't even interactable. So, is there actually well, at least we're actually able to go somewhere in this area? Oh shit! Hi. Why are you licking the building? He's gonna eat it. Yep, well, that's still creepy. And what's in here? Oh, there's actually more than what? <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, let's just. Let's just book to the other side. Yeah, another copyright claim. Wait, is this a different song? I don't even know this song. You know, even less classy is like good, good, good old bondage ladies and stuff. Like cool, just real cool to see all the. Um... Okay, why have we seen two unclassy games of sexy women in it at this point? I don't even understand. I, at this point, don't even understand what this game was trying to be. Idiot is still the most accurate thing to call it, though. Oh, god damn it. Guys. Wait. Four. Oh, no. The numbers. I thought the numbers were appearing after I went into them. No. No, they're just there. I'm going to ignore them. Let's go to the end. Close. That's fine. Unreal sex. Cool. I, I prefer real sex personally, but okay. Trash and sex. <laughs> that didn't prove it more. <laughs> you know what's stupid is that I'm the one that gets the copyright claims right, but I'm not the one doing the offense. I'm not the one saying, hey, I want all around me are familiar places playing in this situation. No, I'm not. I don't want to play and I want something else played. Oh, hold on, guys. Oh, what's this? Development of virtual world spaces like this a unique base of your desires. Andrew.world.gmail.com. Andrew.world. Oops, looks like a little ad integration. All right, hold on, wait. 
Is that a real site? Yes. It is their actual site. Apparently, Wild Russia, Ghost 2042, and True Survivor are games they are working on. Or rather, Wild Russian True Survivor are done. True Survivor is a cool game that takes place in a provincial city lost somewhere in Russia. In the city, villains are dreaming of destroying the main character. <laughs> True villains are dreaming of destroying the main character. What the fuck? Rage Agent Red Axe is the main hero of the game, and an entire army of cyborgs and hordes of zombies confronts them. Of course, cyborgs and zombies naturally, vi you know, usually in camaraderie against good guys. Your goal is to kill all the bad guys and save the world. Wow, that is just the most five-year-old written description. Uh, Wild Rush is an open-world horror adventure game. Its action takes place in, in striking provincial Russia, and any of your actions or inaction could lead to serious consequences. You mean, like, starting the game? That could lead to basic consequences in the case of this game. I mean, the first two games we played tonight were good. But then it was just bad, bad, bad. It happens sometimes, I suppose, man. Can't always have winners, I suppose. The end of the game should be over here, though. Clearly the developer intended us to go gawk at his other projects and... Whatever else was in the side doors, but... Hey, developer, fuck you if you're making me cross a giant ass room over and over again. I'm not going to do it. I get review keys, yeah. I say the end of the game, but I have a distinct feeling that there's nowhere near the end of the game. Let's see what happens when we go over here, and then we'll probably end. There's a time where you could suggest request a game with large amount of kibble, but it's causing the charm. Undo and stress. This is very true. Look, I see nothing but... Okay, well, there's turns, but I don't care. We're going over here. Also, it's the most amateurish, lazy shit when a developer just, like, I'm gonna steal music from this location. Like, even with Poker World, where I literally am repurposing music from out other sources, I properly credit everything, and I'm very, I think very carefully about what I'm picking out. I try to pick indie works that are, like, you know... Not gonna clash, for one, but also not going to have heavy, like, copyright integration. People that give a shit so much. So I'm, not, I'm not gonna grab stuff from labels, because fuck that. That's stupid. Also, there's an ass. Alright, cool. Hmm. Also, did, did, they, did it really just do the next best thing? Did it really just go from shitty parkour section that you have to beat to be entitled to see the rest of the game to overly long walking simulator that doesn't get the point of the walking simulator and just waste the player time to numerous copyright strikes and more importantly, less importantly for me, more importantly for the overall situation, just fucking rude to steal music like that to technically a bit of a maze. It's like it's just trying to hit every single point that I hate. Oh, I think I wasn't amazed. I think I just got lucky. I think I just took the right path. Only once have we had a problem with the music, and that was... Admittedly, the one time we had a problem with the music cart was the one time where I was like, I don't know the source of the song, but I really wanted to use it. Like, I found it elsewhere, and I couldn't source it, so I just took it. I took a chance on it, but it wasn't... And that's fine. I accept that. I accept defeat with that monetization on that... I accept defeat in the sense that I lost monetization on that video. Fair enough. I couldn't source it, so it was kind of a dangerous thing to use. And I paid the price by losing monetization. That's fine. That's fair. If this kills me, I'm going to kill you. I could. Uh, oh, it did kill me. And where do I respawn? I don't think this was meant to be an intentional rage game because it's also fucking lazy. Oh, I respond here. Okay, I'll give it one more shot then if I respond here. Also, rage games are usually rather well tightly designed, and give you plenty of gameplay. You're not just walking. Look at getting over it. It's a super rage game, but like, there's constantly something you're doing and it's actually really engaging. Unlike this. Also, I do not believe you can mix walking simulator and rage game genres together. I do I literally do not think that's possible. 
That feels like a flammable combination. I'll try one last time. It's just look at look at this ramp. Look at this unnecessary. Everything in this game feels like it's designed for a player that's like five times as tall or something. And I'm just way too tiny, so I take forever to cross it. So I don't know what they expect me to do, but what I can do is that. Is that what you wanted, game? That's too long a jump. I don't know what you want. What, is, what the fuck does it want? I don't know. I'm done. Aqua Rel, Aqua Hell. More like. Aqua Hell, yeah, because this game kind of. It kind of feels like the experience of Drowning, where you're just stuck, making no progress as you flail about and slowly suffocate. Yeah, that's a pretty good summary of this experience. Um, Akarel. Another bad game for tonight. It's a bit of a shame how many we had. And not only that, but this one won't even make me any money, so cool. Very fucking cool. Um, because without money, unfortunately, I, I do need, I do need, uh, you know, the, the, the money does help quite a bit, you know. I wouldn't expect much of a Haller video, actually. They don't do too well on YouTube for some reason, but... Um, nonetheless, it still sucks. But, yeah, I think I've said everything I have to say about it. That was Aquarell. And don't play it. It's... It's... It's rude. <laughs>